In diving, we have five different basic groups. Forward, that means you're, you're standing on the edge of the platform, you're facing forward, you can see the water, you see everything. The next one is the back takeoff. Standard back, back to the water, and go. And then there's inward, where you stand backwards again, but you're rotating forward towards the platform. The next one is an arm stand. There's reverse, where you're standing forward again, you see everything, but you're going to rotate backwards towards the platform. What we like to do with our rules is we mix them up so we have two easy dives and two difficult dives, so the two easy dives have to be in different directions. You have to show a, a variety of dive groups because some people are, are more, more strong at, at forward rotations, some people are more strong at back rotations, and so you can't just play to your strength you have to show diversity. There's a lot of groups and, and what happens is you find that the guys that have been diving their whole life, whatever their strengths were as a diver, you're gonna carry that over to high diving. So I was a little bit more of a somersaulter, so I'm, I'm happy to do five somersaults and things like that. So it, it just really depends on what your strengths were as a diver and how that carries over to your cliff diving career. Some dive groups are more difficult, you know, for example, handstands, you know, someone like Artem Slochenko is so stable and solid, so he prefers to do that. And also when you do a handstand, you get a little bit more degree of difficulty, so that's the incentive to actually dive from your hands. Personally, I love to, um, to try new dives from different diving groups. I like to explore uh, all the scale that there is. My favorite diving group are handstand dives, but they are the most risky ones as well. I'm lucky, um, I've had such a great technical background with, with my diving from such a young age. There's not really any position that I can't really do. Um, I certainly do prefer the twist dives than the multiple somersault dives, but that's just, um, that's good for me that a little bit of somersault and a lot of twist is the highest DD at the moment. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with the way the rules are. It's gonna put you out of your comfort zone, so it, but it does help you be a more well-rounded diver, you know. If you're just sticking to one, you're not furthering the sport, you're not furthering your diving. So I really think it's a good change. It is a little scary at first, but I definitely think it's the direction we need to move to get the sport out there.